Hello guys, this is YouTube channel Path and Lighter and this video is regarding ratios. This is the second chapter in maths and this is for a fifth exam conducted by UPSC and this is presented by me Deepak Jaiswal. Now about me, I am an instructor since 2006, ranked 161 in APFC and day after resigned in 2014. Now coming to ratios. Ratios, we generally write it as A to B. This means A to B, this means A is to B is equal to A upon B or if it's A upon B, we can write it as A is to B. Now coming to rule, suppose the ratio is given to to 4 Now we have to multiply it by any number. Then we have to multiply both the ratios, both the digits and the ratio by the same number. Like 3 into 2 is to 4 is to 2. Or 3 into 5 is to 4 is to 5. These all are these all will be equal. Now sub similarly, if we want to divide it, then we will divide by same number. Suppose 6 by 3 is to 18 by 3. 2 is to 6. Or 6 by 6 is to 18 by 6 yeah 1 is to 3 6 by 2 is to 18 by 2 3 is to 9 this means this all the ratio are same the value whenever they will arrive they will be same now coming to proportional proportionality suppose we say x is directly proportional to y so in mathematical terms we can write it as x is equal to ky for any constant k similarly if we say x is inversely proportional to y then we can write it as x is equal to k by y for any constant k. Now coming to the questions. There are three four types of questions. The first is a is to b 5 is to 9. So here 5 is to 9 and here b is to c is equal to 4 is to 7. In this b is common, in this b is common. We have to convert it into a is to b is to c. Now here b is 9, here b is 4. So in these type of questions generally we multiply this number by this number and this number by this number. So if we multiply this number by this number then we have to multiply this with this also and this all and with this also so this becomes 20 is to 36 and this becomes after multiplying by 9 this becomes 36 is to 63 so 36 is common 36 is common so we can write it as h to b this becomes 20 is to 36 is to 63 now coming to second type, suppose we have to divide certain amount among three persons within the ratio 35 is to 28 is to 20 or any ratio. In such type of questions, we generally add, add the ratio. This becomes 35 plus 28 plus 20 which becomes 83. Now for every share, we have to write it 35 oblique 83. This will be A share into 1162. For B, we take it 28 oblique 83 into 1162. And for C share, we take it as 20 oblique 83 into 1162. We will solve it and we will get each shares individually. Now coming to these type of questions. Suppose the A bag contains 50 passive coins, 25 passive coins and 10 passive coins. In the ratio 5 is to 9 is to 4. This means 5x, 9x, 4x. So 50 passive coins is 5x. So 5x into 0.5. 25 plus 9x, 25.25 into 9x and this 10 plus into 4x, so 4x into 0.1. We add all these three and this will be will, will be equal to 206. We are taking here as 0 0.5, 0 0.25 and 0 0.1 because here 206 is the value, value of the currency. Suppose if it is a number of the currency that there are total 100 number of coins in bag then we take 5x plus 9x plus 4x is equal to 100 this will be the number of coins in the currency but here since it is given rupees 200 this means the total value of all these coins is 206 that's why we multiply it by 0 0.5 0 0.25 and 0 0.1 now coming to this type of question like suppose a mixture is containing alcohol and water in the ratio 4 is to 3 this means this ratio becomes 4x and 3x okay and in this 5x liter of water is added to the mixture so in this 5x water added to the mixture this mixture is 4x and this mixture becomes 4 is to 5 so as we have already seen we can write it as 4x upon 3x plus 5 this becomes 4 by 5 we interchange it multiply it and we will get the answer now coming to this question was asked in previous year in 2012 
this question is of percentage and ratio mix so we are, we have uh, we will see in the further video that if there is given a percentage we can write it as upon 100 so this becomes 20 upon 100 of p is equal to 30 upon 100 of q is equal to 1 by 6 of r 1 by 6 of r so this becomes 1 by 5 p is equal to 3 by 10 q taking these two this becomes p by 5 is equal to 3q by 10 then cross multiply then this becomes p, p by q is equal to 15 by 10 this means p is to q is equal to 15 is to 10 now solve this q is equal to r this means 3 upon 10q is equal to r by 6 then cross multiply q by r becomes 10 by 18 so here 10 is common, here 10 is common, this means p is to q is to algebra, 15 is to 10 is to 80. This will be the answer. So this is all it. Subscribe to this channel for free education, promote it among friends and for any queries or suggestions, mail us at pathinlighter at gmail.com. Thank you.